Hello, I am Michael Hinojosa. I am a third generation immigrant from Mexico. This is because both my parents were born in the USA and my grandparents are the ones who actually came from Mexico. To talk about my family, I'd have to go back to the story of my grandparents, one in particular being my abuelita. Maria Reyes Discareño, my abuelita's full name, is a kind hearted woman who chooses more to see the good things in life than the bad and is mostly always optimistic. Her esposo, now deceased, Oscar Arteaga, was a stern and blunt man who favored hard work and values more than many other things. My abuelita's parents, Antonio Tiscareño Duran and Josefina Ruiz, had met in Zacatecas when he was a charro, which was a type of cowboy who did entertainment. They then immigrated to Guadalajara, Jalisco, which at the time was Naples City. Her mother befriended a local priest there, who asked him to work on his property, so they ended up immigrating from city to city until they arrived at his property in Aviscurco, which is where my abuelita was born. The town of Aviscurco, Jalisco in Mexico was where my abuelita grew up in. Her and her family had lived together happily and peacefully on a small pueblo until a horrific incident befell upon them. A fire broke out within a bedroom due to a candle being left on. Within the fire, two of her siblings died. This took a toll on her mother, Josefina as well as another one of her siblings passing from ingesting a fruit that had some kind of toxin or pesticide. Her mother could not really handle the losses of her children. This left her in a state that made it hard for her to communicate with others. So she had to be taken care of by my abuelita's siblings, and at the time my abuelita was only 9 years old. After this had happened, my abuelita went to live with her hermano Jose, who offered to take care of her because it would be a better education opportunity due to the pueblo she lived in only offering education up to a second grade level. Him being a priest led her to having to travel a lot with him. So she was taken to Totatiche to a school of nuns to be taught everything including education, religion, and life skills. She stayed there until her teenage years. At this time her hermano had built his own school for children where she became a teacher. She eventually met a man named Oscar Arteaga who would later become my abuelo in the town of Totatiche. She didn't know it at the time, but she would eventually go to America with her future esposo, although he had to leave her for some time because he had already had a working visa, but she did not, nor did she or he have enough money for her to come to the USA. After getting everything in order, she was able to immigrate to America legally and start a new family of her own. I really enjoy to hear my abuelita's story of her family and how she was able to get to the United States because it really shows how even when it looked like she was never really going to continue with her life, family is what helped her, and it was with that support that she was able to find a better life for herself and her children.